how the internet tricks you into buying the wrong guitar. Sometimes we do too. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Baxter. And Jonathan. Here at Casino Guitars one more time to talk about this crazy game of selling guitars, buying guitars, getting pumped and hyped about the wrong guitar sometimes. Oh, sad. <laughs> sad. So, how, so how'd this all start? Well, it's that. There's this new thing called the internet. Okay. Um, and you can hear everyone's opinions with now, no qualifications. Well, let's even let's go back. Let's take it back into a time machine. Let's okay. Right into it. Let's go the back. Way back machine. Let's go yeah, way back. Let's go back before the way back machine. Let's go back to not Sweetwater, but nope. Sears and Robux. Oh my God, that's before Musicians Friend Catalog, which Derek so brilliantly and um, properly said is the new Sears and Robux. Sweet Sweetwater is the new Sears and Robux. Yes, and I, I was when he said it, I was because a lot of times like we say words come out of our mouths and they're stupid. Yes. But um, he yes. said that, and I was like, that, that was smart. tracks. I think it, it is, because it has everything. I mean, you can't buy a house from from Sweetwater. No, but not yet. And you could from Sears and Robux. Chuck right? would have just hung on a Tars little bit longer. Houses. You can buy a house from Amazon now. That's true. Like the little tiny houses you can buy, and they can have it put in your, your backyard. Well, that is that is literally the one-to-one comparison of Amazon to Sears and Robux. But I'm gonna I feel say, like uh, Sweetwater to, to Sears for, for your guitar needs. Yes, and it true. is it is their job, and our job if we were better at our jobs to trick you, <laughs> not yeah. just to tell you like every new guitar, every new product that is dropped by the guitar makers, is one you have to have. Well, of course, you know. So we're we're really bad at that because some of the guitars we just don't really like. Yeah, you know. But let's let's jump a little bit first. So Sears and Robux back in the day, they would send out these big catalogs to everybody, and it was like Christmas when you open it. That's how it was with Musicians Friend, right? Yeah. And the Sweetwater catalogs. I still get your like little it. marker, your little pen. You circle all the stuff you wanted. Fold the ears down for the pages. It was, it was fun. And you know, Sears was the first of like integrating and putting into your living room. You know, this is early internet. The affordable, great entry level guitars that you could get for Christmas, like the Daisy, yeah. Red Rider, equivalent of your Silvertone. And every company at the time was making a Silvertone. I didn't realize some of that. I didn't realize. I mean, I knew that was true for a few of them. I didn't know how many were doing that. There were a lot just to be in this catalog. That's a whole other video, probably. Yeah, you can know. But it's just it's a funny little footnote because this the Sears and Robux catalog was built. You know, they're not putting the Fenders as much and the Gibsons and so it was, you know, the really affordable, you know, fifty dollar sub type category of instruments. Yeah, I mean you. I was thinking about this when we said it this morning, like how many companies were building them and you weren't getting their, you know, you were getting their great instruments at a shop. That's almost like a precursor to having like Squire and Epiphone. Yes. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because the way Squire and Epiphone evolved and changed right. and morphed and it's a whole different thing. And it was what you just said is like to go get your fine instruments, you would want to put your hands on them. Right. Now, fortunately, we've gotten rid of that idea. You don't want to play the guitars you buy that are... No. Multiple, multiple no thousands need. of dollars. Just buy them. No, but that's that's the world we live in now because the, the guitars you want are probably at a shop that's not around the corner from you. Yeah. It's so, so now that Sears and Robux has sort of gone away, right. Amazon filled its place, Sweetwater crushed Musician's Friend in the sort of battle there. I can't even imagine there's even a battle. I mean, like... Well, it used to be Musician's Friend was dominant. No, I know, but now I just it's just hard to even imagine that those two things are in the same... Sphere, it's like universe. Blu-ray versus HD right. DVD. Yeah, it just like it just one just got sort of walloped. That's a good word. I've used it twice now. <laughs> walloped. It's like dollop. Spending like you know eight hours one way in the car trip with your family. That's fun. Makes you it, it, it's it can be fun. It makes you want to wallop sometimes. <laughs> it can be either like a, a retching or just like a slapping and beating. Yeah. You can't do that though. You can't do that. It's tougher just getting kids to school after spring break again. Yeah. Oh. Or anyone. <laughs> yeah, I was awake because I had one in bed with me that peed his bed again. But that's just part of life. Yeah, that's what happens. Being a dad, it's it's um it's something. No, um, so it's, it's nothing like being a dad waking up with that like 
little film of pee in your leg from where your kid like <laughs> peed in the bed and it's just like it's not really like on you on you but it is and you're just Cause, like because oh. i remember back when i was young like not like toddlers i'm talking like you know in my young 20s you're like waking up with a little film of pee in your legs means you had a good night you know you met someone new that you might not know <laughs> yet but or you had just a good interesting you know experience stories Gosh. to tell your friends later at, at the bar or at band practice i had a few gigs where maybe maybe dudes in the band Pissed themselves. I know the one that um, did on Broadway where the guy that peed yeah. on stage. That's yes. one of my favorite. Yeah, that was a great one. That was a whole different scenario. But I did have one where the dude, like, was we were sleeping at the guy's house in in, in a faraway state, and the dude peed in the kid's bed. <laughs> <laughs> so what a kid that peed as a grown man. As a grown man. Bed. Um, Perfect. Just good times. Just good Love times, that. Right? So, so Sears and Rogers transferred into musicians, transferred into Sweetwater, into Amazon, all that stuff. And then now we live in this weird cycle of rapid information being pushed in your faces at any given moment about yes. the new guitar you have to have the new pedal you have to have the new amp you have to have and pedals are the gateway drug <laughs> that's how we get you right we get you started on pedals because they're cheap they're easy they're fun it just changes your tone entirely until you're tired of it and you try another pedal and you're like well maybe it's not the pedals maybe it's the amp you know, start doing some amp swap or risking it's, well, it is it is funny about that, right? Because you and I were talking before, and, and this is probably another video at some point too. There, there's a point where you get a guitar and you're trying to learn to play where you don't think about it. There's no thing in your mind that's like just about buy the next guitar, buy the next piece of gear. And then you said you realize playing guitar is hard. <laughs> it gets better. It's hard. It's work. And so you think, oh, maybe I just need this new pet. Man, if I had a flanger, if I just had a flanger, imagine the sounds I would make. And then you get in this cycle of, so you're back to the catalog. Well, there, well there's, there is. It's, it's a dopamine drop of buying and receiving and the weight. All of it together equals awesome. You know, equals awesome. You're excited about it. And, you know, it happens, you know, like, I don't want to... I don't want to be like too gender specific here, but I'm going to talk about my experience with women and, um, and shoes and purses sometimes and like jewelry. My wife doesn't like jewelry. Thank the gods above. But um, it, there's, a, there's a joy from that. Or like, you know, classier wives like ours, like there's a weird dopamine when they go to TJ Maxx, I think, and just walk around. Does your wife do that? Yes. Like, a maxinista, I think, is the <laughs> that horrible thing. You're what? a maxinista. What? You're, what does that even mean? Well, like Ross. I mean, like, yeah. uh, she's like, oh, I'm just walking around Ross, getting the Starbucks, and walking around Ross. I'm like, God, I, I chose right. Like, I know that when it's like, she didn't buy anything. Maybe she'll like buy like two things of like twenty dollars total. That is like a that's my wife's like dream day. If I, I know, can leave right? her alone and she can go get coffee and go to Ross or TJ Maxx and walk through the can home you? goods section. And then maybe like the Michaels, the craft store is right there. Can you imagine when Target is complete? No, I can't actually. Like that, because Target's it's actually sort of highfalutin. I'm probably gonna have to like work more. <laughs> you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to get another job. <laughs> more gigs. Or we something. all actually do. We have to get more jobs soon. <laughs> I may be working at Target. What if you get a discount? God, I think um yes, you do. Okay, you have to. All right, um, we, we, we're nice. Yes, at Target. <laughs> be nice. But you'll see Jonathan at Target. Hey, he'll be a greeter. If you notice, I'm wearing red a lot on the on the. Like corporate sponsors you'll, you'll, you'll know that I Target I've, I've, it's because I'm coming straight from my ship to Target no it's, film videos. it's like so I was I was suckered by this was my thing that I almost bought I didn't buy it it's still a great Target it just wasn't right for me at the time the callings SoCo Deluxe yeah you you, yeah. the ads came out when this is years ago this is like a long time ago and I wanted to get one so bad so I lost it I watched demos oh my gosh the best thing guitar I finally got to play one at the Music Emporium up in Massachusetts and I was like, oh. Now, did you go there just to play this guitar? No, I was. I think I was up. I don't know why I was in Boston. I was in Cambridge or Boston for something. Maybe it was work. Um, and I met a friend, Patrick Fuller. And we drove up to Music Emporium just to just go yeah. hang out. Because I knew they had one, too. So I was like, cool. And I just want to see all the guitars. It's a great guitar shop. Um, I mean, I think that happens. Like, So I had funny. a similar thing where I thought I had to have a Duesenberg. Um, and they are cool guitars. And they sound cool. But I just thought it would solve all my problems and world hunger would end and, you know, the skies would open up. And Did that angels. happen? No. Okay. <laughs> and I, I was lucky. I had a friend uh, who really wanted a Les Paul that I had. So we traded for a week to see if we wanted to make like a permanent swap. Uh, and at the end of the week, he did. <laughs> But I like, did not. No. I was like, man. But it, again, it was fine. And I probably probably would have tricked myself into telling, saying I loved it if I had just ordered it, right? And then it would have been like a year or two later. I just you know it. who would have taken that trade, though? 
Zach Dees. Because <laughs> that boy loves a new guitar for about a week. Well, I mean, I, would, I just wonder how many people play a guitar or look at a guitar and they're like, meh. And then they start reading about it online and people's ratings, the, glowing reviews. And then all of a sudden, oh, no, it was really good. Oh, and, God, I and do And you referenced this. it earlier. It's like all these reviews and ratings from people that are just like, a lot of us aren't more qualified than you. Use your ears and stuff like yeah. I don't care how qualified a person is. It's always different. It's 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 going to be whether you bond with that guitar or pedal or I mean, <laughs> I watched a hilarious um, Tom Bukovac video the other day where they were plugging him in blind to pedals and they plugged a blues breaker in and he was like ew. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's people rave about every uh, blues breaker type pedal like whether it's a Morning Glory or a uh, reissue one or an old one. You know, and he was like, "Oh God, I hate, I hate this tone." Essentially, well, that's just like us. We're both sort of more Fender geared in our minds, and what yeah. we like the sounds of, and versus a Marshall, usually. And even though I played some great Marshalls, but my tonal sensibilities lean towards a Fender. But and, I mean, Marshalls are still great. And my wife know? is so funny too. Like even with art, like she doesn't like Rembrandt, right? Which I think is weird. You know, who doesn't like Rembrandt? <laughs> but um, that's true. There, I mean, uh. she's more of a Van Gogh fan. Oh, does no makes, ears. Does that make sense? Earless. I, I, I'm eyeless, I would say. No, I like Van Gogh as well. So that, it all works for me. No, so again, like, remember, everyone out there is there to sell you stuff. You know, so sometimes, just take a breath. And like, we do help quite a few people. I'm helping some folks with a group of folks. Like, not all together. That'd be weird if it was a group. Um, but like, several people, like, with guitars at other stores, Yes. That we don't carry. We do it quite a bit. There's no like weird commission rates or anything that's going on. It's just because we want you to get the right guitar. That's true. And most good guitar shops out there want that too. That's the neat part about this whole thing. Yeah. It's, it is the Miracle on 34th sort of street lesson. Just um, do right. And I think the, the good shops out there really do believe in that still. It's not just a business. I think that's true. Because if yeah. you wanted to make more money, you'd go into a better business than guitar sales. <laughs> it's... um. <laughs> Sell jewelry, something, something. Good. I know that there's not the margins in it. Food, it's, sell food. I, food. I mean, sell <laughs> eggs for Christ's sake, right now. Like, uh, get some chickens and make more money. It's um no. It's, you do this. You should be in the guitar business because you love it, yeah. and you should be in the acquisition of it because you love it. And you might love the acquisition of it too. I do. It's a part of that. Yeah, that's okay. I think as long as you're aware of that, I identify. Totally yep. I like to try to play with all the toys I have, but it's hard to sometimes. It's not enough time in the day. Yeah. I think that's kind of it. I think that's about it. Be careful who you listen to. Oof. And just have a, have a little fun out there. But just, you know, don't don't fall victim to everything. And um, but have, a, have a good journey, though. Enjoy it. It's fun. And thank you again for joining us. Click yes. like, subscribe. Hit the old bell. And as always, peace be with you.